Today we're talking about non-scale victories, non-scale wins, non-scale progress, whatever you may call it. See, when you're trying to lose weight, you need to look beyond the scale to see the bigger picture. So today I'm going to share with you some ideas for non-scale victories. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alex, a sports dietitian and nutritionist. Welcome to my channel. Great to have you here. When we are trying to lose weight, it is important to not just solely look at the weight scale. Even though that that is a big tangible metric that most people will follow when they're trying to lose weight to some degree. And the reason for this, other than obviously being just too fixated on one metric and how that can kind of lead you astray, is the fact that it doesn't truly give you the bigger picture when it comes to your true progress. Because remember, this journey you're on is not just simply just to see a smaller number on the scale. There is more to it. And then you add into the mix the fact that weight is so dynamic in the sense that you can't always predict what it will do. Despite the fact you're doing, you know, this strategy or that tactic or this plan or that diet, you can't truly predict what the weight will do because it will fluctuate for reasons beyond your control. And that is why it's good to complement the weight if you are using a weight scale measure complement it with other metrics that will give you a bigger picture on how you may be truly progressing, even you know, in the realm of fat loss or outside of fat loss, but still ways that it shows that you are improving as an individual, that you're becoming better through optimizing your nutrition. And that is why I want to share with you today five non-scale victory ideas that you can start tracking right now to give you a bigger picture idea on how you are truly progressing. So without further ado, Let's get into the list. Number one is performance. Sports, gym, work, life. Performance around all those areas. See, when you're trying to improve your nutrition, it's good and all if you're trying to lose weight and that's kind of your main goal, but you really should be trying to become a more better fueled individual. And if you're an athlete in a sport, that can translate to sports performance. If you're a busy working professional, that can be work and life performance. If you're simply someone that just wants to feel better and stronger in the gym, that's gym performance. Number two is probably my favorite one to recommend, and it is how your clothes fit. I couldn't tell you how many times people will be like, oh, the scale didn't move that much, but I'm able to fit into uh, the clothing that I used to be uh, able to fit into, but now I can fit into it again. Or I have dropped the pant size, or whatever it may be. These are tangible ways for you to track your fat loss, or more, more should I say, body composition changes without relying on that number. And a number is the number on the scale. So yeah, try and look at how your clothes fit. It's a great metric to add into the mix and to allow you to give you an idea, keep a pulse on things, I guess, on how your body composition is truly changing. Number three is increased energy levels and mental clarity. It's cool and all if you're trying to lose weight and you're losing weight, but if your energy is really crap or your mental clarity and concentration is just not there, you're not going to feel your best and you're not going to perform at your best. So in that sense, what is the point really? You're trying to make these changes to your body. You're trying to make a change to your lifestyle so you can become the best version of yourself, so you can feel the best you can, to feel happier and to feel more confident. But how can you truly feel those things if your mental clarity is not there and you're always feeling like you're you know, not able to concentrate on things or if your energy is just dropping and you're not feeling like yourself? So start tracking how your energy levels are. Start tracking how well your, your mental acuity is. These things are great ways to give you a bigger picture on if you are improving and if the nutrition is doing something positive for you. Number four is improved sleep quality and quantity. I couldn't tell you how many people forget about sleep as a metric or a pillar, I should say, of health. And if your nutrition is improving, then you should either see stability or improvements in the quality of your sleep and the quantity of your sleep or in just that overall picture of recovery. And that is why if you can track your sleep and if you can see that your sleep is improving, that is a metric to be proud of. That is saying that shows you that you are better fueled or doing something right. That you are improving regardless of what the weight says or in some sense, in addition to what the weight says. And last but not least, number five, body composition change and improvement. The thing that people forget when it comes to weight loss or fat loss is that you're not truly just trying to lose weight or fat or you shouldn't be, is what I should say. You are trying to improve your body composition. And that is where that distinction between 
uh, weight loss versus fat loss comes into play because you're not just trying to lose weight in general, you're trying to lose body fat and improve your body composition. And a part of that could be that you're trying to improve the balance between how much muscle you have and how much body fat you have. So if you're progressing and the weight is saying one thing, the weight scale is saying, you know, this, this is this and this is that, but you're noticing that your body composition looks better, feels better, that you are happier with the way that things are going. That is progress, regardless of if the sheer specific fat loss is as much as you were expecting or as much as you were planning for when you first started this. So always look beyond just fat loss and think body composition change, think body composition improvement. That's gonna allow you to keep the eye on the prize, the true prize, which is an overall body that makes you feel happier, healthier, and more confident, and that allows you to do the best you can do in your day-to-day -day life. So there you go, that's five non-scale victories that I would recommend you consider adding into your mix today. Long gone are the days when you should be just focusing on that number on the scale. There is more to the picture, and I want you to start looking at beyond the scale. It is important, not just for giving you a more better idea of how you're truly progressing, but to allow you to kind of improve your mentality around all of this and kind of not make you too fixated on certain things and kind of cause, I guess, a poor outcome from a mental point of view. Your weight does not dictate your self-worth. Therefore, solely fixating on the weight scale and allow allowing that to get to you is not doing you any, any benefits. So start looking beyond scale, start adding non-scale victories to your life, choose some of these that I've shared with you today and start improving the way you measure progress. Now, what I want you to do is comment below. Comment below, which of these five are you going to start measuring today? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit the like button if this video has been valuable, it has been helpful, it has allowed you to give you a new perspective. Hit the like button, shots of love. Now, until next time, stay classy, have a good one. See you later, bye.